Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video, we're going to be doing the main quest, Aya. Bayek travels to Alexandria to search for his wife. Having killed Madunamun and Siwa, Bayek bid farewell to his friend Hepzefa and set out across the desert to Alexandria. There, his wife Aya has been researching the other masked men. He must find her, knowing only the approximate location of her cousin's house. Together, they will plot their next move. The reward is 1,250 experience. Current objective is to meet Aya at the library. Okay, we need the horse. This city is incredible. Okay, so this is the library right there. The snake will get his answer. I wrote this. All writings are to be copied by the great library. You can't have it! I guess the works of Archimedes, Plato, Sappho, and Aristotle won't have your scribblings to keep them company. Those are all in there? They are. I guess you can copy this then. Too late. Don't want it. Go ahead. Take it. No! You can have it! <laughs> oh, he told him. How will I find Aya among all? These endless scrolls. Alright, so let's check out the library before we continue our quest. <laughs> History of geometry. One must be versed in Poseidonius's geography as well as Udemus's arithmetics and geography. Elements by Euclides is as important as Pythagoras' essence and source of all things. Finally, Archimedes on the equilibrium of planes would be the best addition of knowledge to Platon's teaching. Euclides Elements Things which are equal to the same thing are also equal to one another. If equals be added to equals, the wholes are equal. If equals be subtracted from equals, the remainders are equal. Things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. The whole is greater than the part. <laughs> Aristophanes, uh, geometry. I think I said that right. On the summer solstice, simultaneously, the sun strikes Sein and Alexandria, but their shadows have different angles. When comparing the angles and relating them to the distance between the two towns, planet Earth measures 250,000 stadia. <laughs> Zodiac Krikotoi Known as an armillary sphere to Romans, this observational device determines the locations of celestial bodies around the Earth the spheric center of the universe. The position is fixed by corresponding the latitude and meridian rings to the position of the sun or a star. Pythagoras's proof. In right-angled triangles, the figure on the side opposite the right angle equals the sum of the similar and similarly described figures on the sides containing the right angle. All right, I'm pretty sure that's everything back here. Yes, okay. Let's head back to that main room. I find that Thanos talks too much. He has some interesting ideas. Very radical. It's almost alarming. You're right about that. 
But can't he express them concisely? About the Muses. This library is dedicated to invoke the nine daughters of Zeus, sometimes called the Muses. Recruited by Osiris, they are known as Calliope, Cleo, Uterpe, Irato, Melpomene, Polyhymnia, Terpsichore, Thalia, and Urania. They are the goddesses of arts, key to the good life and the names of Herodotus's history books. Okay, and then right over here is a papyrus puzzle, which will complete this location. Divided Valley. In the center of Satme Nome, you can find me hidden in a canyon near Anthilla. I'm under a tree that thinks it's unique, but only because the nearby rock bridge is blocking it from seeing the others of its breed. The knowledge of the entire world is at your fingertips. Here, one can reflect upon the oppressive regime under which we find ourselves laboring. The Alexandrian poets, have I mentioned them, are a group of dramatic artists dedicated to promoting free thinking throughout the land, no matter what the pharaoh says. Despite the fact that the ruling pharaoh is given to arbitrary and despotic decrees, here at the library we support free study, any topic you like. Okay, so there's just a few things left in here. Just some treasures I can grab. Oh. Oi, this maze on us up for scenes. So we got these three, and then on the other side, there's another one. Uh, I should be able to just jump across this statue. Yep, no problem. Okay, that should be everything. And that appears to be the case. All right. Therapist. Now what? Ah, where is Aya? Ah, Serapis. I wrote a tragic comic pastoral epic centered on him. Ah. You're by, I guess. Aya is eager to see you. Did she say? Quickly, follow me. I am sorry, my good fellow. You appear to be drunk. This library is for serious scholars only. She is in hiding. Who are you? Ah, interested in Homeric verse, eh? This way, please. I am Aya's cousin, Phanos. Ah, yes, Phanos. Nice to meet you in person. Tell me what is happening with Aya. Why are you being so discreet? Gennadio sent his men on a house-to-house -house search. Often, they drag people into the street and torture them for information. Typical of the system we live under. Gennadios. A monster. The Philakitai of Alexandria. He is ravaging the city to find her. And where is she now? I have a very powerful friend, Apollodorus. No doubt you have heard of him. I have not. You will. In any case, he made a hiding place available to Aya after she ran into trouble. Yeah, but what happened? You do not answer me. It is a mess of political intrigue. She will explain all, fear not. Look! There's Phanos! He thinks he's a poet! The modern Sophocles. You must hear his epic poem, Ode to an Annie Goat. <laughs> In heat! <laughs> this is as far as I go. The way to Aya is found in the monument ahead. Okay, explore the well. 
Right there. Have a little faith. Faith, you say? Okay. Well, what the heck? Want him to jump in. No, jump in. Bye, Eric. Alright, screw it. We'll do it this way. Should we spend months apart? We only have each other without him. Let us be together, us two, each to each. I have news. You are scarred by justice. Ah. I bludgeoned Bedunamun with this. I hate that we have to do these things. But I am grateful that you did. If I am honest, I took pleasure in it. I've missed your touch. I have missed touching you. <laughs> I killed as well. Acteon. I hunted him down and discovered a mask in his room. When he returned, I forced him to wear it. Then I thrust this knife through his eye slits. Aya. But I was careless. Another of the masked ones tracked me to my home. It was even more difficult. We have one more. Then we will be done. <laughs> Look at this. I took it from Acteon. Apollodorus tells me it is a papyrus from the Royal Council, which means the snake is in Ptolemy's court. How does this Apollodorus know these things? He has informants everywhere, because of his work with Cleopatra. But Cleopatra? She's been declared a criminal. <laughs> By her treacherous brother, yes. She plans to take back the throne. She wants the snake dead as much as we do. And she trusts me. She gave me this. ...to slit his throat. It's an ancient blade that killed the tyrant Xerxes. A weapon of justice. <laughs> Ingenious. Ah. I will go to the palace and discover who uses the seal of the snake. And I will use this. You'll find plenty of information in the royal scribe's office. He spends his time at the bathhouse. Go search the palace while he's away. And you? What's this? <laughs> that leads to the docks. I can't believe Thanos had you go through the pit. I cannot leave here as long as Gennadios walks the streets. He is determined to kill me. In addition to the snake, I will see what I can learn of this Gennadios and silence him. Discover who the snake is and show him the face of death. I'll meet you at the Paneo when you have killed both the snake and Gennadios. My heart aches until I see you again. As does mine, my love. 
Okay, so you can see that this quest requires us to complete two more main quests. And I'm not sure what happens after that, if there will be continuation or if it just ends when the other two are completed, but we shall see. Um, for now, we're done with this quest. We're just going to check out the hideout and then maybe go upgrade some equipment. And then we'll be done. Aya's notes. Thanos is right. I should meet with Apollodorus. According to him, Acteon is involved. I need to slip into his quarters. The mask. He is one of them. His blood for my Himu. I need to hide now. Apollodorus could help. He gave me access to the den. I can trust him. I think that's all that we have. Right, I guess there's some treasure here. Crafting available. We'll do that in a second. Let's talk to her one more time. Who is this snake? I have yet to discover that. The clue must be there in the palace. Search for the seal found upon the letter. It's too dangerous to leave this den as long as Gennadios and his men are searching for me. Okay, so let's check some stuff out. Our targets have updated. She killed two of them, so there's only one left, the snake. So the vulture was Acteon. Uh, Aya's first kill. While tracing the order in Alexandria, Aya came across Acteon and verified her suspicions when she discovered one of the masks in his apartments. He died a horrible death while wearing the mask. His role in the Order of Ancients is clear. His role in the death of Himu, however, is nebulous. The Ram. Kitesos. He hunted down Aya, the killer of his friend Acteon, in Alexandria. However, he met his end at her hands. So yeah, just the snake left. The snake is one of the masked ones whose name was mentioned at the tragedy in Siwa. So we got these two new quests, End of the Snake and Gennadios the Falakatai. Gear, we've got uh, quite a few melee. I forgot to go through gear last time. Scissor blades we've seen before. Those are better ones. Boredom Bane. Nicely crafted by worshippers of Ptah in Memphis. Uh, we have the Cypriot Gabbro head, which I believe we had before. Uh, probably made its way from Kypros, the possession of Cleopatra's ancestors. And then the Peasant Scepter, which I'm pretty sure we had before. Well, maybe not. A robust stick wrapped in leather cords. Its flat head whistles through the air to jab at your enemies. Okay, shield. We have a wooden shield again. And let's see. Our hidden blade can be upgraded. And it looks like it can be upgraded again. Yes. And a third time. Nice. What's it need this time? Oh, it turned into something new. So we need nine more of the purple iron stuff and five more of the blue. Abilities, we still only have one point. Inventory. We have that new papyrus puzzle, which we already read. And I think that's it. Any new trinkets? Mm, don't believe so. All right, let's get out of here. There's an exit right here. Alright, so we're going to head over to the blacksmith. I want to start using different weapons just to get a hang of the different weapon types that are available. Um, so I've got that Eye of a Pep, which is pretty awesome. It gives poison on hit, just like my sickle sword. So I think I'm going to try that out for a bit, but I need to upgrade it because it's level 1. So let's... I'm going the right way. We'll just do it manually. And you can see that Retta is here as well. What I haven't checked is if his quests differ 
from place to place. I would imagine they don't, but maybe they do. It's a cool looking statue. Oh, also, each outfitter person seems to have uh, different outfits that are available. So it's not like one weaver or whatever has the same as other ones. Each one seems to have its own offerings. So something to keep in mind if you're looking for a new look. So let's go ahead and upgrade. We are going to upgrade the Eye of a Pep. Get it all the way up to level 12. It's going to cost me 2,250 drachma. There we go, and uh, let's see. I could upgrade that, 3,120. So the interesting thing about upgrades is it seems to be the same price no matter how many levels you're gaining. So like, see how the Calamity Blade's level three and cost 2,250 to the upgrade, and the Fang is level seven and it costs the same. So it seems like if you wanna save more money just let your items get a little outdated before you upgrade them because if you're upgrading them all the time you're gonna waste a ton of money uh let's also sell because i got a lot of unnecessary items good so back up to 3067 drachma okay my shield was in pretty good shape so we'll just keep that where it is so let me go to gear and the Eye of a Pep is now my main hand weapon. And the Sickle Sword can be my offhand. Okay, and let's maybe try out a new outfit. Uh, Egyptian Wahid. You'll travel unnoticed on the road in this humble outfit. Sure. Until next time. And let's try that out. Let's see. I need some better lighting. About right here. Eh, it's not bad. I like it a lot better than some of the others I've put on. Okay, so we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.